Hey guys and welcome back and we're doing the last sort of improvements to this and I was wondering what this funny noise was and there was there's a sheep at like level less than 40 down this hole it's like what what the hell is going on <laughs> anyway yeah so I'm continuing um, to do this uh, uh, to uh, sort of what would you call it? My mind's gone blank now. To actually excavate the sort of slime sort of area. As soon as I heard the sheep, I thought, is there one in my garden or something like that? And then some sheep just strolled down through the cave. Very weird. This cave system act actually goes on for a while. Um, okay, that's my torches all out. So I should really not bother actually continuing to um, get myself lost in here now. Um, where did I come from? Um, did I come from this way? Nope, but there's mushrooms right by this. So that's kind of interesting. Um... Okay, I am officially lost. Okay, there is more torches here. I'm basically just lighting up the cave system, like I mentioned, so that it reduces the mob spawnage and increases the slime spawnage. If that makes absolutely any sense to you at all. I'm seriously struggling now on getting out of here. But this sheep is confusing me. Sheep, what are you doing down here, dude? I might as well get the wool off him. There we go, just found it. So I'm just excavating this cave at the moment. Um, okay, so the corner is here, so I need to fill in this section like so. This is where the corner of... Uh, the last chunk is, so I need to um, essentially block it up. I will explore these caves at some point, but I do want to get my slimes. Okay, so here. I have no idea how I'm going to get out of here as well, so. We'll worry about that when the time comes. So we're going to continue excavating this. Um, this is a double slime chunk here. That's why this room has to be double the size of the other one. And this slime chunk is just off the corner of this one here. So say hello to slime chunk one, slime chunk two, and then slime chunk three, which is currently full of smooth stone. There we go. I'm going to keep this episode very short and sweet, guys, because um, there's a lot of stuff I need to do to this um, area that I will do off camera because um, it's probably quite boring enough for you guys just watching me excavate this um, sort of chunk. So, uh, yeah. But as soon as we finish the chunk, we are going to be working on the pumpkin and melon farm because the slimes will come in handy for the sticky pistons. Um, there's some other inventions I would like to um, experiment with too, like maybe like an automatic chicken breeding farm or something like that. Maybe I can have my own version of KFC <laughs> in Minecraft. That would be kind of cool. Um, yeah. As it goes for my Minecraft server, um, I'm actually not doing any work on it today. Um, I've got a lot of client projects, so I'm just busting out a few um, a few small Minecraft episodes in between my breaks, you see, because um, I need to give my mind a rest. Staring at a computer for so long and actually thinking about things does actually um, does hurt your brain. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay, this is um, chunk number two and three all in one. Um, I may have to shorten this room a little bit. And I need to figure out an idea how I'm going to get both, when the slimes spawn in both these areas, how to get them into one section. 
and then to raise them at the top. Like I said in the last video, slimes actually do um, climb up ladders. So that's going to make things a lot easier for me too. I think they actually spawn when you're out of a 24 block region too, which is also another bonus for me. Let's just collect all this coal. La da. Ooh, lovely bit of coal. I might actually consider going on some sort of diamond adventure too, because I really want to get like a, a diamond like armor, which could be kind of awesome. Right, so this is the two slime chunks. Um, I think we could move some of these torches around. I have actually run out of torches, but uh, I want to light up the da the uh, the what the back end of this room here purely because it's quite dark. I don't want to come down here and have a mob battle on my hands okay so we need to go up and uh, we are going to make a pillar of dirt and then we can just dig down the dirt and hopefully this is enough dirt on me to uh, to get to the surface um, I have no idea if it is or not Let's move that Uh, we need to fill in some of this area too, just so I don't confuse myself when we do some alterations here, here, and here. Okay, let's continue going up all the way to the very top. Let's make this a pillar so I know. This is where I have to go down. Okay, so I need to extend my sort of uh, my jungle village a little bit. So this is the pillar for where the uh, the slime factory is going to be. Uh, could possibly use that tree by there to um, to help. Well, I could make like some sort of factory on top of that tree. Um, another idea is to build some sort of building right by here. Um, I could possibly flatten this sort of mountain top right by here. Um, extend some sort of walkway from my village. Um, let's just go and have a quick look. Um, I could extend a path out from here, which wraps this building and goes over to there. <coughs> Excuse me, which could be one idea. Another idea could be to make a path through here, but this is quite small from where I got the buildings so very close to each other. And the same here, I couldn't really make a path here. This is, I'm in a bit of a dilemma right now because I like things to look kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> another pathway could be around here. Nope, there's no room. Um, okay, think, think, think. Um, I've got some sort of idea now. Um, okay, so the building I've got for my zombie spawner. Maybe I can mirror the building. So I've got two next to each other. So I've got one here, but um, inclined a bit more, just a bit more up this hill. And so the mobs come up through here. And they're pushed into a building by here. That will kind of make sense. Yeah, so the mo so the the slimes are pushed up here. Are not pushed, but they come up here, the ladders, they hit the top, the water pushes them into a building right by here. I think this would do the trick. So the mobs are delivered here. So I'm going to have to build this banking up with some stone here. Um, maybe possibly have a building which is supported with uh, sort of like wood or something. Anyway, I'm going to get down to that myself. But basically, you understand the, the chunk area of um, the slimes now. And slimes climb ladders. So that's a very good start. As long as I could deliver slimes to the top here, I have no problem in directing them with water. Um, I just need a building by here. I'm going to do the building off cam, guys. 
and I'll see you next time in Adventures of Minecraft where you shall be seeing the basic blocks of my slime, ex slime XP farm, um, slime uh, slime ball factory I guess or something like that anyway I shall be seeing you guys very soon so thanks for watching if you enjoy the videos please leave a like or subscribe um, to keep on top of my content if you want to follow me on YouTube or Twitter there's also links in the description and again for this video I shall be posting the link so you can check out where your local slime chunks are yourself so uh, thanks for watching Adventures of Minecraft and I shall be seeing you guys next time